Rise Royals. Welcome to the home of the Twin Flames, you guys. Let's go in, okay? Because I feel like there are some messages that you never received from your Divine Masculine, okay? So we're just going to dive straight on in. First, I want to see who it is that we are connecting with the strongest, okay? You can still resonate with the reading. All right. So we're connecting with an Aries, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Libra. Okay, let's get one more. And Scorpio, okay, are the strongest that I'm picking up on so far. Now I want to see what happened here, okay? Let's see if Spirit wants to give me the deets, okay, on what kind of happened here between you guys. Spirit, what happened here in this connection? So you guys can get a better clue as to who this is, okay? Spirit, what happened here? Okay, so we got the Two of Wands. So I see somebody was needing to make a decision. Okay. Uh -huh. And then we have the Six of Cups, right? Okay, so yeah. Okay, so for a lot of you, this was a past person, okay, that needed to make a decision here when it came to something, okay? Maybe they needed to make a decision whether they were going to move forward with you or leave something, okay? But I do see that you already know this person, okay? A lot of you already know this person. Give me some more energy, Spirit. What happened here? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. I see that you were trying to manifest, you know, uh, big things, with this person you were you know you were really trying your hardest to work with the universe and and, and make this thing um come together as you saw it okay what happened here spirit four of cups but this person ended up leaving anyway okay this person um ended up passing you up <clears throat> right so the decision that they made was to Go ahead and pass you up for now, okay? And oh, okay, that just flew out. I was going to uh get out of this deck, but see, look, now they're having the strength to come back and do something, <clears throat> okay? So, what is it that they want to do, spirit? Okay, now that this person is in their strength, oh, oh, okay, so they want to get out of. Uh -huh. this dark place, right? Because they haven't been able to sleep, right? They've been full of um, regret, right? Here, feeling left out in the cold, okay? They want to come up out of this place, this very dark place, okay? And look, create something solid here with you. Stability, okay? So I definitely feel like this is definitely... Um, the 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 main character here just you know them wanting to come back with some type of stability is definitely one of the messages that i'm picking up okay when it comes to your person let's get these messages out here spirit what is one of the messages divine masculine hasn't sent divine feminine what's one of the messages what didn't what didn't make it to you? You are my two of cups. Ooh, I told you. You are my two of cups. You are my soulmate. Okay, so you guys, for a lot of you, okay, because I am picking up a lot. For a lot of you, you know, this person really don't know anything about twin flames. You know what I'm saying? But they have definitely heard the term soulmates. Okay, so you got to know that your person resonates with soulmates way more, right? Um, it just kind of, you know, it's just something that, you know, is um, 
a common thing, okay? It's a common thing. So they feel you are their soulmate when in reality for some of you, they truly are your twin flame, okay? But listen, one of the messages that they didn't send to you was that you are their equal. You are their two of cups. You are the person that um, gets them. You are the person that, you know, they can look at and they see themselves, okay? It's like, you know, um, um, a mirroring. I'm seeing a mirroring going on here. You guys reflect each other a lot, okay? And so, um, mm -hmm, I feel like this person's like, look, I know, I know that this is my person. I know that my divine feminine is my person and I want to tell them this, but I don't think your person had the courage. Okay. Especially with the strength card out here, you know, this is why I didn't make it to you because they didn't have the courage to send it. Right. They didn't have the courage to send it at that time, okay? Or they don't have the courage to send it, okay? Because some of you, you know, mm. <laughs> uh, they feel like, um, you know, you may be a, a tough cookie, okay? What other message didn't make it to my divine feminine spirit, right? I don't deserve you at all. Ooh, okay. So this was one of the messages that they were going to send. Okay. They were going to send a message to you, uh, letting you know that you deserve better. You know that, um, see, I'm getting not good enough. You know, this person not feeling good enough. Uh, they were going to tell you that, you know, um, they, they, they don't have the capacity to give you what you are wanting right but then i think something happened i think spirit stopped this person from sending that message because spirit was like you do have the capacity you do you just have to work on yourself right don't don't and i also feel like they didn't want to come off as weak you know saying that you know they 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 didn't feel good enough or or they didn't want to come off um as um i don't know i don't know i'm trying to get the words out here it's it's a little confusing right like i feel like your person's energy is a little all over the place they're they're confused a little bit Okay, because I can't even get, I can't even really get it out because it's not very clear, right? Mm, okay, what other message, Spirit, didn't make it to my Divine Feminine? What other message? Okay. I need to own up where I fell short in this relationship, see? Again, more energy of this person not feeling good enough. You know what I'm saying? Not uh, being accountable. Um, I feel like one of the messages was, you know, um, I know I fell short. I know I fell short here with you. And I get it. And I would like to make that up to you. You know, I, I would like to make it up where I fell short. I would like to continue on um, with the plans that we had. You know, we've known each other just way too long here to give up. And I know in the past you were trying to make this thing work, right? They saw you um, actively trying to make this work. You know, but while you were actively trying to make this work, they were just like, I don't think this is going to work. You know, it, it was almost like they gave up, right? I'm seeing a divine masculine just kind of like giving up here, losing hope, not feeling good enough, even though they knew you were their two of cups, even though they knew that. Okay, let's go into this deck right here. Okay. Yeah, they lost hope. 
Mm, okay. Thank you, spirit. So what does this say? I never meant to make you cry. Okay. So yeah, you know, picking up heavy energy with that. You know, I do see a conversation between the both of you where your divine masculine said something that really, really, really hurt you deep to the core, you know, and um, I feel like when they said this, this is what made you realize that you had to continue to push forward without this person, okay, and I don't think this, whatever this was that this divine masculine said to you, I don't, I really don't believe that they said it to make you cry. Like I'm not getting a malicious like thing. Like I'm going to say this mean thing so you can start crying. I'm not getting that. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting something that they were really truly trying to be honest with you about. And you were just like, okay. Like, okay, I have to, I have to accept what you're saying or I have to, you know, uh, really take this in and, and believe what's coming out of your mouth. And I feel like, um, I feel like this definitely made you cry. Like I see someone crying on the phone and I don't see someone like crying really hard. I see someone just kind of like sniffling, like trying to hold back the fact that you were crying. Okay. But they knew, they knew you were crying and you know, they, they, they wanted to send you a message after that phone call to let you know that they never meant to make you cry. Like that, that wasn't their intentions. They don't even like to see you cry anyway. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. Okay. Mm. Okay. Look, please forgive me if I ever tried to label you. I just didn't understand your uniqueness. Okay. Okay. So one of the messages that didn't make it to you is that, Is that um, they didn't want you to feel like you weren't good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel like there was a lot of um, um, projecting going on here when it came to this divine masculine. They were like trying to project how they felt about things, you know, uh, maybe some of these things could have been, you know, uh, like physical things like the way you dressed or the way you wore your hair or um some of you the way you talked or I don't know um but something like that is coming up something very unique about you you know one of the messages was going to be you know I love that you're unique you know um I just didn't understand your uniqueness you know what I'm saying it, it was something that I wasn't used to Okay, um, so please forgive me if I made you feel some type of way by labeling you and putting you into a certain category or a certain group, right? Yeah, they didn't, they didn't understand, um, the type of person you were. Okay, that's just going to be for a few of you. All right, give me some more energy, spirit. What other message didn't make it to my royals, right? I should have done and said things differently, but everything had to be the way it is, the way it was for our growth and better understanding, okay? So one of the messages is, um, you know, um, they do regret some of the things that they said, okay? And this is kind of piggybacking off of, what I've already said, right? They they are having regrets about what they have said to you, right? Or how they said it, you know, especially when they made you cry, right? But they're also coming back and saying, you know, that the way things played out had to play out for a reason, 
Okay, so I am seeing that your person is starting to understand that, you know, that things are happening and, you know, they may not be such good things, but they're happening for a reason. Okay, they're happening for a reason, you guys. Okay, let's see. Let's get some more out here. They're happening for a reason. What message didn't make it to my royal spirit? Thank you. Okay, so the message that didn't make it to you was, I'm not sure if I feel the same way I once did, okay? Now, I feel like that's old. That was that was probably like one of the first messages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That they wanted to send to you but never did. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not even sure if they they, they even felt confident about saying that because they know they knew it wasn't true that's why i didn't make it to you right i'm not sure i feel the same way i once did yeah you still feel the same way stop playing <laughs> stop playing you know what i'm saying like okay what message didn't make it to my royal spirit i tried to replace you and then i realized that you were irreplaceable Okay, and now you're gone. Okay, so the message is um, someone trying to be very truthful with you. Okay, I'm not sure if they were just actually going to come out and say I was trying to replace you. I don't think they I don't think they would say that to you. But somewhere along the lines, like I messed up, I messed up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I tried to move on from you and um, I made a decision that I regret and now I know that you're irreplaceable that's what I feel like the message was going to be you know a message telling you that you're irreplaceable you know and they don't want you out of their life you know what I'm saying they're like now you're gone I don't want you to be out of my life Okay, so let's go a little deeper. Let's go a little deeper. Let's see if we can uh, get a little more specific as to who this is. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, overgiving. Okay, so this is somebody that you were overgiving. <clears throat> you were too overgiving to this person. And they knew it, okay? So, sometimes we have to, you know, it's okay to be nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's okay to be nice, but don't be overgiving. Don't, don't, don't let people, you know, think that you're, you know, like some type of pushover because you're not, okay? So, I do feel like uh, you came off as overgiving and they maybe kind of took advantage of that, okay? Right? persuasive is here right maybe they kind of um persuaded you so some of you this person persuaded you to go into a different direction only because they weren't good enough okay okay let's get some more energy out here sugar oh okay so either somebody wants some sugar okay 18 plus coming out y'all y'all already know Y'all already know you better go hit that comment section. Okay. Click on my Patreon. All right. Go check it out. I mean, the energy is here. Somebody wanting some sugar. Okay. That's what they call it. Okay. So I am picking up like an older divine masculine. <laughs> like somebody that'd be like, give me some sugar or something like that. Okay. Go click on that Patreon, you guys. Like it, it it's lit over there. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of new faces in the house and and I got hundreds, okay, of posts that you can go through. So I promise you, you will find your person's energy over there. You know, even if you just go go check it, go just go check the page out, you guys. Just go check it out. Who else is this? Okay, somebody has light eyes. Okay, somebody got light eyes. Somebody is saying I miss listening to music with you. So we're gonna get uh we're gonna we're gonna pull some music. 
in a minute okay look having a fine god or goddess on their arm okay so they do refer to you as god or goddess right and they think you are attractive okay this is all somebody also somebody that um you like to have a lot of communication with like you like to communicate things you know and i do feel like they know that this is a part of um something that they need to be doing in this connection having a lot of communication because this is what makes you feel secure okay in a relationship look they wasn't ready for you they wasn't okay and then we also have a spider okay so maybe somebody's been seeing spiders maybe somebody's nickname is spider okay maybe somebody has is there a car called spider i'm not sure i'm not sure okay anyways and then we have child children okay so some of you may have children by this person that's why this is a past person that you know okay and look oh somebody might be telling your person that you're a witch oh my god oh my god please stop please stop right because your person already knows that you're a mature woman like we're not finna do that <laughs> Look, I wasn't ready for you came out again, okay? So that is big, 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 big energy right there, okay? Was this all lies, okay, is what you're asking your person, you know? And this is why I feel like it took your person so, um, well, is taking your person so long to send these messages, like, watch this person is going to send you these messages and you're going to be like god is platinum I already said it <laughs> god is platinum I already said it let's get these songs out here okay spirit what song do you want my royals to have what is this why is this in here teach me oh wow okay wow wow so your person's coming out and saying teach me you know what I'm saying? Teach me how to love you. Teach me um, the things that I need to know. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you have a lot of wisdom, Divine Feminine. Right? Even though for some of you, this person may be older, I feel like you have a lot of wisdom for somebody younger. Okay? So the song coming out is Chris Brown, Call Me Every Day. <laughs> did not say you like a lot of communication right you like call call me every day baby you know what i'm saying like if this is real i gotta hear from you i have to hear i need to hear from you okay your person is coming out saying you're so beautiful by music soul child let's get one more okay and then we have jackie brown by brent fires okay i'm going to leave this reading here you guys if you guys resonated with any of this be sure to hit that like button it's the easiest way to support the channel better yet share the video with somebody that you feel may need the message okay um again if you're trying to pick up on your person's sexual sensual energy about you click on that link in my comment section okay it's always there you guys and you know for personal readings all of that you already know where to find that okay that's going to be in the description box below as well as the bio all right i love you guys so so much it's your favorite goddess goddess platinum and i'm out <laughs>